guys, welcome to Indigo Park. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. There's no Indigo Park. But, I do have a little bit of a theory. Let me just show you. You make a great pilot! A line that she was probably told to say, because they wouldn't want her to just say, penis. On the glory. Stay in your seat. It's barnstorming. Yeah. Most of these are repeated lines, but hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. It's barely hurts at all. I feel like she's actually learning how to say words. Because why would anyone say that at a park? It's probably them getting beat because or something. I'm just saying, it's something like that. It barely hurts. I believe that these things are created and it hurts a lot and yes I'm saying that they're probably human because they are flesh I'm saying turning into this thing barely hurts at all I want to play with the fire obviously kids are you're startling, darling. That's probably one of the employees said, or it's one of the creatures said. React, boy! Employee, or that's actually could be when Rambly actually was friends with Lloyd, because it does seem that they were friends, because there's a painting of him getting like a deed in something, meaning. He probably was friends with Lloyd, but Lloyd's narcissism made, pushed Rambly away. Why you would hear, great act, Lloyd. Burn up, lift your spirits. Burn up, lift your spirits, commercial. Don't touch that thing, son. That's weird, though. Why would a, da a dad or something say that? Because it says, don't touch that thing, son. It's like they know that's an abomination, that it's not, it shouldn't exist, that it was made. Because why would it ever say, why would anyone ever say, don't touch that thing? It doesn't say, don't touch Molly McCaw or something like that. To be like, oh yeah, you don't want to disturb her while she's working? No. Burn up, lift your spirits. Don't touch that thing, son. Again, she repeats that one. Why? In a different tone, she repeats, it barely hurts. It seems like she was created. It's one, then, she means that emotionally or physically. I think it's when they were created, they were probably in a lot of pain. That's why she says, it barely hurts at all. Stupid freak. Get back in your cage, bird. And also, that is a reference. Not a reference. This is mentioned, so they are kept in cages like animals. And they do have a showtime thing. That's why he says, get up, you stupid bird. That's why he says that. The customer is always right. Probably heard that from like an employee, or she was told to say that the customers only for a hundred years. Also, it's weird. Why does she copy things? Why the long face? And black? She's saying it like weirdly, but like, yeah. It's 
what the barely hurt thing, it could be her, like, learning how to speak, but I don't really think that. It could be. And also, some of these lines are straight up just co the copy from the game. Come out of your I'm gonna see if there's. I do want to see. And he is a performer. And there is a weird line in the game called, like, where... It's like... Where it says, Rambly... I'm gonna have to show you it, but... There's a weird line where... It's not the one face and body thing. Also, it seems like that someone was trying to stop us because why does Rambly get unplugged randomly yeah that's a theory are the mascots being controlled in indigo I don't think being controlled because that's a little too much to say Why do the park, we get hunted down by mascots, but could it be that it's not entirely their fault? When we die by Molly, we get told she I don't repeats think she's, they're being controlled. I think they were made and abused so much that they attacked back. But they're also probably eating people that trespass. Explain why they have a lot of fresh blood on them. Because they don't like humans. Because they. We see the employees called them things, basically calling them abominations. And the employees abused them. And some of them actually saw it if words she's feel. heard. Phrases like We also know they used to be human mascots, although they were getting retired. And also, I think a part of the reason why they were abused is because even the employees probably saw these things as abominations. Because they unreasonably hate them. Hired and replaced with this new type of mascot. If these new mascots were being abused by the staff, then it makes oh, sense why the Critikov made a sound that wards off the mascots. Or more specifically, Lloyd. And, and yeah, that is a thing when they come near. I mean, over time, they were being violent probably explain why it's abandoned because there were just getting too many lawsuits because these things were attacking people I don't and know we might know what staff the member it is considering people. the broken animatronic version of McCall says this <laughs> that's not physically possible but also it makes explanation that the pipeline is it's not just they randomly came up with flesh it was probably first the costumes and the things but then they changed it to the animatronics explain why there's an animatronic version back here and then they had an idea wait what there's no way rambly could do that well you see man like he could physically like he physically can't I mean that literally, like he literally can, he's on a screen. And he does want his buddies back, so it seems like there are AI versions of them. Because he says, I want my friends to be reunited. He could be talking about, he wants to kill them, explaining why it was so timed the door closed. Instead of closing before, it closed after she jumped. Where her head was in line with the door, 
and got cut off and tried to play it off. There was nothing. It could be two of things. There's one, he wants his AI friends back because why is there just an AI Rambly but not an AI Macaw or Louie? And it does seem like there is an AI version of them because the cardboard cutouts actually speak to them and the robot Macaw has seen things. But, yeah, she probably wants to put them out of their misery, put them together in heaven, explain why he killed Molly Macaw, because he knew they were in suffering and needed to kind of be put down like a dog when they get rabies. Explain why instead of closing before, he closes after. Because he wants all of his friends to feel reunited and not have to be in misery remembering all those tragic things because they still remember. Explain why they attack you because and other visitors because they still remember the abuse brought to them. Explain why she says all those lines over and over again. Most of them are horrible. And it made them just like that. Okay, I'm going to reference it again. How my friendly neighborhood where they saw violence. They commit violence. They saw how they were, tre they were treated bad. So they attacked angry. And seeing and scared of us and how they attack explains they hid and lured the employees back there killing them explain why Lloyd runs away but tries to attack us later on or how Molly McCaw watches us through the whole entire chapter but later on, when we're stuck, she breaks through to kill us. It's because they're still scared of humans. They're scared of us. They're killing us because in the most safe way possible. And they don't understand technology. Explain why Molly McCarr would just jump like that. Because she doesn't understand that. The door could shut and kill her. And some of them are still stuck in their cages. Like Stinger, not Stinger Farm, Flynn. He's still stuck in the aquarium because he's a fish. Makes sense. But yeah, it makes sense why. Unless it was one of the staff members wearing a rambling mask. And also explains why Molly McCaw would probably want to get rid of Rambly, explaining why she takes up the gears and stuff. Is because she remembers Rambly, her Lloyd. She doesn't know that's a costume, not real. Are the mascots being controlled? In Indigo Park, we get hunted down by.